Don't you just love the smell of vomit in the morning? No points for honesty, then. Honest would have been, can I have a few mates round, Val? You'd have said no. Well, we'll never know now, will we? Because you robbed me of the chance of being cool by making me disappointed foster ma'am yet again, which, by the way, I'm getting mighty bored of. I'm supposed to be the reckless one in this family. So anything else? Any deaths, assaults, attacks? There must be something, otherwise you wouldn't have fessed up. Belle was here. What for? Passy the parcel. Cider. And we didn't know till... until it was too late. Hiya. I'm distraught, David. Distraught? Shh! Did you speak, Judas? Yeah. Gets anything out of that stuff. How about ungrateful girls? Cos I am this close from a victim one. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to smoke in here. Yeah, well, compared to the alternative, this is air freshener. <sighs> Does my dad know? I'd rather he didn't. Hey, bit of a sly one, innit? I was sticking up for you last night. Which means Eric was slagging you off. Probably deserved it. I can see right through your little act. <sighs> Look, I couldn't be any sorrier. Oh, you could, cos we're off to see Lisa in a bit. It's Belle's upchuck when they deep in. <laughs> I'm going to use these two as a human shield. And eat something puddingy. Well, you didn't have sinks on last night. Oh, did I get emotional? I'm all bitter and twisted. And you slopped a gallon of water. Yeah, I know. I remember you screaming at me. I was stressed. And then we had to go and apologise to Lisa. Lisa spared you that. Is it just me or did I kiss that guy, Jared? Probably why you feel sick. Don't you work in the shop? Why is it shut? I needed a break. Heavy night, apparently, Alan. The details of which I'd rather not know. And that's why I love you. Well, if you're ill, you should go and see your doctor. And if you're hungover, you shouldn't drink so much. OK. Oh, I thought you were all for getting the sack. Oh, I can't stand being told off. All right. Is Jared with you? All right, he's working away. Sorry. Never mind. I prefer pudding anyway. Hey, pet, collect some glasses for us, will you? All right. Oh, by the way, total brilliant performance with Val. I actually thought you were going to cry. And I've had to lie to the school. Why? I could hardly say she were lying flat out on the settee with an hangover. Well, if you feel the need to clip her, this is no time for jokes. Who's joking? She is supposed to be your foster kid. For the moment. We didn't give her the cider. Well, who did? I'm perfectly capable of nicking cider. I wonder where she gets that from. I could go to the police for this! Oh, Mum, shut up, you're like a fog on. Is Hannah seeing Jared again? Definitely not. Who's Jared? Just some mate of Alex. Who's Alex? You know, my partner. Your partner? People do grow up, you know. Says the little girl on the settee. All the girls fancy Alex. Yeah, most of the women do too. Val! You're not helping, Belle. I'm sorry. Look, the thing is, Belle likes to hang around with the big girls. I mean, they shouldn't have said that she could go at all, but they just indulged her a bit. I mean, didn't you idolise bigger girls? I were too busy breeding pigs. Well, Belle's very lucky to have one foot in the sty and the other eye on more social pursuits. Crossing your feet with your eyes, though. <laughs> they didn't mean to be malicious. They were just irresponsible, that's what I'm trying to say. Why blurt it out to Eric? Yeah, cos if it was you, you'd have lied for months. Too so right. Oh, he was dead civilised, apart from the Belle bit. That and the fact that you broke into somebody's house. Shag keys. I'm shocked at you. You told me Eric was okay with it. Nice try, you. 